my dear friends welcome to rajashekar classes on formal languages and automata theory this is lecture number 104 in this lecture we will try to understand church turing thesis or church thesis or church turing machine thesis they are of same uh, meaning uh, different textbooks uh, refers in different names uh, simply i can say it is just church turing thesis uh, alan jo church is a Brit- is an american mathematician whereas alan turing is a british mathematician uh, in the year uh, in the year 1920s i can say uh, 1920s or 1921 till 1928 so on until 1928 uh, people uh, uh, means uh, this computability is not defined in precise manner uh, there is no proper definition or i can say there is no proper explanation for a word known as computation or uh computable to computability in order to address this problem in order to explain what is computability in order to ex- a, a, a precisely state what is computation two mathematicians proposed two different models first mathematician alan jo church uh, who introduced a mathematical model or machine known as lambda calculus whereas alan turing uh, alan turing is introduced a mathematical model or a theoretical model uh, or a machine turing machine to explain uh, what is computability or what is computation before going before uh, going uh, before discussing this uh, church turing thesis uh, let me share few few uh, few words about these two genius uh, mathematicians The, uh, as i told you in my previous uh, slide this lambda calculus is introduced by alan jo church the lambda calculus was developed in the year 1928 to 1929 by alan jo church it's published in 1932 the turing machine was developed in the year 1935 in between 1937 just if you observe these two dates which one is introduced first lambda calculus is introduced first therefore i can say lambda calculus is older than turing machine model church used lambda calculus i i, I already told in my first slide itself church used lambda calculus to explain what is computability what is computation what is computable function in similar manner alan jo church is used turing machine to explain what is computable what is computable function what is computation he used turing machine yes surprisingly alan turing was alan jo church's phd student at princeton from 1936 to 1938 turing machines and lambda calculus are equivalent in computational power means they, they are equivalent the turing machine expressive power and uh, lambda calculus expressive power is same that is uh, a turing machine can simulate lambda calculus machine lambda calculus machine can simulate turing machine model that is each each can effectively simulate the other uh, that is lambda calculus and turing machine machines are not just closely related but they are equivalent models of computation here heart of this church church turing thesis or church thesis is computation these are the persons these are the great mathematicians who explained uh, computability or computable function with lambda calculus and turing machine now i can uh, i can say something about uh, variants of turing machine in the context of church turing uh, uh, church turing thesis or church turing uh, Uh, hypothesis let me say chess turing thesis i already discussed about uh, 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 about variants of turing machines in lecture number 99 i request you to refer once all there may be different variants of turing machines all turing machines expressive power is same all turing machine computability power computation power i can say computation power actually which one is heart of your chess turing th- th- thesis the computability or computable function or computation uh, all these all these variants of turing machines 
are equivalent in terms of computability or in terms of computation or in terms of computability yes yes now that's what it says again same thing i am repeating uh, of course it's not harm in repeating good things again and again all variants uh, what it says all all variants are equivalent in computing capability all variants are what all variants of turing machine are equivalent in computing capability turing machine and lambda calculus are also equivalent i already stated this one of course it's a good thing let me repeat it again algorithmically this i can say this third point is very very important this i can say this is just turing thesis yes what it says algorithmically computable means if you are able to compute with algorithm means certainly it is computable by turing machine algorithmically computable means computable by turing machine if there is something which can be computed with algorithm means that can be computable by your famous turing machine there are two forms of church turing thesis first form is weak form second form is strong form just compare these two forms what it says anything we we, go, we would regard as computable that's what i am repeatedly saying computation or computability is a core concept is a heart of church turing thesis yes anything we would regard as computable can be can be computed by turing machine means if something is computable that can be computed by turing machine that is that is i can say that is weak form of church turing thesis then what is strong form of church turing this is just compare anything we would regard as just see anything we could regard as here here we have computability instead of computability is is uh, uh, is saying efficiently computable just is adding efficient word can be computed just see can be computed by a turing machine can be computed by a turing machine just see by a turing machine but he is giving time polynomial time it means in strong form he is he is saying time complexity and uh, that computation is also efficient these these are two different forms of chess turing thesis uh, in the case of strong form he is precisely saying about time complexity he is he is pressure he is pressing on uh, computability that's what he is saying efficiently computability polynomial time as because of these two words this become strong form of chess turing thesis turing machine and turing test are different but uh, yes there are two concept you might have heard turing machine and uh, turing test they are different but uh, similarity between them is both are designed by our famous alan turing turing test is basically used in artificial intelligence uh, a artificial intelligence to compare the computer programming capability with humans this turing test is useful yes again uh, there are same church turing thesis can be expressed in different forms different languages uh, again uh, again i am uh, again i am defining uh, same same statement in different words uh, or different phrases just see a functional a functional on natural number is computable by an algorithm just see computable by an algorithm if and only if means what if and only means if it is computable then computed by turing machine if it is computed by turing machine then computable both sides if a if and only if b means what a if and only if b means if a then b if b then a it is true from both the sides therefore if it is computable by an algorithm it is computed by turing machine if it is computable by turing machine then it is computable that's what it says anything that can be done by current digital computer can also done by turing machine yes it's a, a beautiful beautiful sentence anything uh, you perform with digital computer can be simulated can be implemented by turing machine at presence at present there is no problem which can be solved by digital computer and cannot solved by turing machine same thing we are saying in different words many mathematical models are suggested till now but no none of them no one of them or none of them is more powerful than turing machine thank you very much